Hey, it's Peter Tilden here backstage, of course, at Stagecoach with Charlie Overby uh, and the Broken Arrows. Where are the Broken Arrows? They are breaking stuff somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and by the way, we're just talking, um, and, and he, congratulations, because your, your, you so your record just broke, and you're already started in the top. Yeah, it, it came out on uh, April 20th, a week yesterday, and came out at number eight on the iTunes country new release. Isn't that a trip? Start. It's crazy. Because you never know. I mean, you're, you're a great artist, but you never know how people respond or if it'll resonate. And then you wake up in the morning, and your manager, somebody calls and says, yeah. hey, dude, guess what? Yeah, it's amazing. You know, you don't expect it. And, it, you know, it's it's pretty crazy. And you're playing every day here at the you're festival, which is every neat. day. And then yeah. you're going out to the little place where, what, I think Paul McCartney and some other guys have played yeah, there in the Yeah, yeah, Pappy and Harriet's. It's a, it's a favorite out in Pioneer Town. You know, it's my favorite place to play aside from the Fillmore. Right. And, uh, yeah, it's a magical little honky-tonk in the middle of almost nowhere. And, you know, Robert Plant shows up there from time to right, time. He right. lives out there. He's got a place out there. And, of course, like you said, McCartney. During Desert Trip, showed up out there. And did yeah, it's a thing. wonderful place, and the crowd's right there. I mean, you're, you're. It's like the Cavern Club of the Desert. You Pappy know? and Harriet's, man. It's it's magic. So, how did you? When did you get started? And where you're from? Uh, I was born in Linwood, California, and I uh, grew up in La Habra, and I, I'm a California kid. And you've yeah. been playing your entire life. Yeah, yeah. I've been playing since I was uh, 14. And this group, this incarnation, got together when? Um, I put together the Broken Arrows. I would say 2015, made the EP in 16, uh, did a bunch of tour in 17, and here we are, 2018. Amazing. And what's the reaction been like here? Oh, it's been fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's and you're playing incredible. close to close crowds here too. I mean, they're right up in front of you, right? It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing to see how um, how reactive the crowds are here, oh, especially really the great. new talent. They want to see new talent. Yeah, and the country market and the country fans and the country people are so down home and cozy and friendly and it's really a big family you know? you know what we were looking we were talking yesterday and people said how close are they almost every one of these bands has been mentored by another band yeah i'm yeah. close with brad paisley everybody in the station knows that he's done a lot of benefits for us right and i heard at least two bands yesterday say i'm leaving after the show because i gotta be i'm opening for brad here and there right and these guys take time and mentor you and the other thing is they don't the the joke is when you're open for bands, you know how gracious the big band is based yep. on how much foot, how many square feet they give you on stage, right? Right. right. And in country, I, they usually let you use their stuff. Oh yeah. And their lighting and whatever. In rock, you yeah. get like three feet of the stage yep. and don't touch my stuff, right? Exactly. Yeah, I mean tonight, you know, the Nikki Lane show at Pappy's. It's Nikki Lane, Joshua Headley, whose album actually came out the same day right. as mine last week, and us, and we're all just using the same gear. You know, I mean, it's... It's really a brotherhood. It's, it's a really, really and a sisterhood family at this point situation too. A lot of, all through the whole country. So how did you develop... Look at this look. The look is really cool. I didn't I didn't check out this. How long does it take you to do the braiding? That's very cool. Oh, man, you know, people say, oh, man, you're kind of like Willie Nelson. I call it the half Nelson. <laughs> you know? That's very cool. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I... The look is a look, and a look is a look. It's your it. own look. You're not I just have Nelson. my own thing. You know, I, I make these hats. And, uh, you do? Yep. All it's, right, before we leave, Lone I got to get the, I want the order. Yeah, want your, it's your called Lone Hawk Hats. That's very cool. And uh, so that's my, my side love. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just a down-home, normal dude that likes to wear jeans and a T-shirt. and. No, but it's a great know. look. It's a great yeah. look. So who did you like growing up? Like, who was your... Who do you want to aspire to be or who well, really influenced you musically? You know, as a kid, my my pop was from Arkansas and my mom was English. So it was a weird combination of Hee Haw and Benny Hill. That's at hilarious. My house, That's really know? hilarious. So it was a lot of Johnny Cash. <laughs> my old man was a huge Cash fan. And George Jones, of course, and, you know, all the pickers. He loved the, the great guitar pickers and uh, and songwriters. So there was a lot of that at my place. So you and had then, Roy Clark happening. You had all of those guys. Oh, Roy Clark, constant, right? right? Constant, yeah. And uh, so, you know, of, of course, I evolved into drifting over into the punk rock world and played some punk rock for, you know, many years. And uh, you got to grow up again eventually, you know. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I've, I've always been writing songs. And then once it was time for me to actually perform right. some real stuff right had done all i needed to do as a young punk 
Yeah, but you did 10,000 hours, as they say. You know, you've yeah, done it. Yeah. You performed. You know what you liked, and you kind of right. gravitated to where you are now. Yeah. Pretty yeah. neat. Well, go look at the camera and sell your stuff. Tell them, go in there. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> right to the camera. This is your opportunity. Hi. <laughs> Charlie Overby here. Buy my record. <laughs> and buy a hat. Yeah. Thank you, man. The record, the record is called the record is called Broken Arrow. It's on Lone Hawk Records. Very cool. Which is my hat line. Got it. And, uh... Yeah, it just came out last week, and I'm going to be all over the place, so you, you'll see me everywhere. Check them out, and thank you. Thanks for stopping Thank by. you so we much for having me. I really appreciate it. We will stay in touch. Thank you sure. so much. I love it. I yeah. love it. All right. Kick back. When are you playing today? What time? I'm playing today at 4 o'clock. Nikki Lane is at 3.30. I'm at 4, and then we head to Pappy's. And tomorrow, Nikki Lane is at 3.30 again, and I'm at 4 again. Keep, Same deal. Keep playing, man. Good. Thank and you, best, buddy. Best of luck, and thanks for stopping thank by. Thank you so and much. And I want a hat. Thank you. See you later. See you.